silence where they far and near when they listen to us oh now well done no oh. the people will bring on this so one get drama when they tie to nambere day at the 200 level students of theater art a e funai 2021 slash 2022 set now then bring on this drama oh now maybe now one we'll get presenter who fear won't get you there and i get for studio if you're a blessing make on sit down listen and enjoy yourself you are listening to Mbere Day. Igwe, may you live long. Yes, My elders, I greet you all. I greet you too. Igwe, your daughter don't return with the people where she talks says she go bring. But before I start to introduce them, here is my husband, His Excellency, Dr. Olamide Odeyemi, the governor. Welcome, my daughter. His Excellency, you are highly welcome. I welcome you all. Hope say the journey no stress una so much, Abi. No, not at all, my king. The journey was fine. Like my wife have said, we are here to fulfill our promise to the land. With us here are some meteorologists and climatologists and some government officials. They are here to educate the people and empower some of them. Thank you, my son. Make you go meet the people. So we'll be start as a run the wait for us. Cha cha cha. I let you know. Quen. Hey. Quen. Hey. Zuanu. Hey. Quen Zuanu. Hey. May the king live long. Yes. My people. I greet you all. We, we greet you to Igwe. My people, today is indeed a wonderful day. Yes, yes so. A great day. When I see that problem, we don't have to us for this village for a long time now. Now today, we go know the cause of the problem and how to solve them. Igwe! Today, our own daughter, Ego Naya, daughter of Ono, has come to our rescue. And we are all here as she carry her people. Come, including the governor of the state, His Excellency, Dr. Lamide Odeyemi, her husband. Hey! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Both of them come bring plenty big men and women. We go educate us or now we take some of this our matter now. So we're gonna sit down and listen well on how to take care of this our land. Even Naya, please come and address your people. Great people of Echara, I greet you all. Oh. We greet you too. Share we promise say we go come. Yes, oh. we Give come, my Abi, we no come. We we don't don't come. come oh. Yes, we don't come. I come with some of my people. They go educate us on so many things. Share una they see them. Yes, yes oh. wait, my people. We don't suffer a lot for this our community. I be not be so my people. Not not so. Today, some of these our problems and sufferings go come to an end. If we pay attention carefully to these people here, that will be teaching us today, not only paying attention, no, but putting into practice all that they are going to tell us today. This woman, Dr. Sandra Ihu, is a metrologist. Her work now to study and observe the atmosphere and how the weather go be. She will be the one to talk to Una, make Una listen well, and make Una feel free to ask any question. No. Hey. Good morning, people of this great community. My name is Dr. Iwu Sandra, and I am a meteorologist. Who is a meteorologist? A meteorologist is an individual with specialized education who uses scientific principles to explain, 
understand, observe, or forecast the Earth's atmospheric phenomena and how the atmosphere affects the Earth and life on the planet. My colleagues and I have analyzed the problem that this community has been facing. Some of them are natural phenomena, but certain problems of this community are being caused by us. Yay! Yes, what you people are facing is what we call climate change. Madam, which one called the climate change? It is called climate change. It is the long-term shift in the atmospheric condition of a place over a long period of time. To get straight to the point, climate change can be caused by a variety of factors. There are some other states passing through different things entirely, such as flooding and so on. Climate change has brought adverse hardship both in humans, plants and animals, as the case may be, as it has affected the quality and quantity of foods we eat air we breathe, changes in weather which can make a particular environment be so hot, dry, cold, as the case may be. It has also affected the rate, quality, frequency, texture, and nature of rainfall and so many others. All these problems are as a result of climate change. The intense heat, the lack of water or drought, the hard soils, they are all caused by climate change. So now, what do they cause this climate change when they talk about now? Thank you for that wonderful question. What do they cause this climate change? Now, all of us, where they here? All, all of us. us? Yes. How? You may not know it, but it is actually we humans that is causing it. For example, as we drove into this community when we were coming here, I saw one factory. The kind of smoke that the factory was generating is quite alarming. And one of my colleagues said to me, why won't this community suffer when this kind of factory is generating heat in the community? And besides, I saw another one where not timbers food yet. Indians are busy cutting down trees. You see, those trees that them suppose they provide shades for this community against the harsh sun. Now I suppose they provide shades for our streams and rivers from drying. You see those smokes that comes out from there, that goes up to the atmosphere. They are called carbon emissions. And these smokes are carbon emissions go all the way up into the atmosphere and then it depletes the ozone layer, which... Dog, I beg, what is called the ozone layer again? Oh, sorry. The ozone layer is a thin part of the Earth's atmosphere that serves as a shield. It shields us on Earth from the sun's harmful rays. But when those smokes on carbon emissions reach that part of the atmosphere, they create holes that allows the harmful rays to enter the Earth. This then makes the Earth hotter. Madam. How these harmful rays, where you they talk about, they affect us. So you they try to talk, say, my people they suffer because of sun. That is not what I am saying. I am saying that ozone layer is harmful, but it is not entirely part of what is causing it. Then, what is the cause? Sam? It is called global warming. It is caused by burning fuel fossils, cutting down forests, which is called deforestation carbon emission, bush burnings, and so on. This is what is causing all these problems in this community. Hey! hey. But Shebi, Chief and I, they do all of those things. That is factory where they always they come out smoke from the ceiling. Or those the people where we go, go enter forest, they cut down all our trees. I will not go talk because he be chief. We go talk, oh. So this means that Chief Olola is part of the problem not just him, but every one of you that also burn down bushes and forests. <clears throat> Cut down trees without planting it back. Don't you know that if you burn down bushes, the soil can get damaged because of the intense heat of the fire that kills certain farm animals in the bushes. And some inside the soil, like earthworms, that helps in softening the soil and get it ready for cultivation. 
All these animals are being killed, and this can make the land know to yield as much crops as it is supposed to produce. Another one is annual farming. When every year when I go keep farming on a particular land, when I no go allow that land to rest for even a year, it reduces the quality of the soil. Hey, hey. 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 You see those Mama Ebuka speaking and their goods, where they always go set bush on fire. If they do them again, make I see them. I go report them. Exactly. That is the best thing. If we see those kind of things, make we report them. Or if we see those people who they follow court trees again, make we report them, give Igwe. After him being punished them, other people go learn from their lesson. And our community go better. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we, go, we go report them. Then when we talk about this, burning of bushes, Fossils and smokes from those factories out there as all these smokes evaporate and go into the clouds Which then becomes rain. It is not just any rain, but rather acidic rain Yes, acidic rain This rain will then fall and damage your water So the water you and your family drinks and even your animals becomes polluted This global warming can also cause drought or lack of water, intense heat or heat waves, and also rising of sea levels. Mm -hmm. But, Miss Doctor, that's why no go affect us now. We don't get too much water for this community except our own streams. Yes, that might be true. But do you know that in some other parts of this country, what you people need? They have too much of it. And what is that? Water. Water, my chief. Do you know in some other states, like Backwoods and Pleasure State, they have too much water to the extent that it destroys their houses and properties. It was so bad that it left over 150,000 people homeless. Now they live on the roadside or as refugees, but it is still the same problem they have with you which is global warming. Yours is intense heat or heat waves, harsh sun, lack of water, why theirs is flooding. But they all have a solution. Please, Miss Doctor, tell us the solution. Make me know what we go do to help our matter a I tell you. Okay. The government have agreed to assist you. But you as the indigents will also play your own part. Even little things like changing a light bulb can help reduce global warming as changing from your regular light bulb to a compact fluorescent light bulb will help save over 150 pounds of carbon dioxide a year. You should reduce the carbon emission from your factories as it is among what causes global warming. Stop deforestation and develop the attitude of afforestation and also reforestation because it helps a long way. Afforestation is the planting of trees in a land where there were no trees. Reforestation is the best explained as the replanting of trees in areas where the trees are decreasing. This helps provide a habitat for wildlife and provide cover for the soils, rivers, aquatic animals, some other animals and also we humans it also helps if we use a more clean or as it is called green energy this is a type of energy whereby electricity is created by natural resources like water wind or sunlight like a solar machine as it helps provide energy but in a more cleaner way with the mention of clean energy it means that fossil burning should be stopped as it greatly increases global warming, which means Chief Oluola will either have to find a way to work without harming the trees and creating a large amount of carbon emission, or close down his factories for good. Eh? Over my dead body, I know they close down anything. Chief, can you please listen? Of course, that is not for me and you to decide, but for the king, my people. Have I spoken well? Yes, you have. My people, una don't hear Ramba. Una don't hear the cause of what happened. The effect and the solution are be. 
Yes, sir. So now, I won't call our government official. We follow us come. May she come address Una. Good day, good people of this great community. I am sent by Mr. President to come and provide some basic amenities which will aid you in these problems. The government have approved the construction of 10 boreholes around this community, which we believe will help eradicate the issue of no water and selling water expensive in this community. I have more good news. The government has also commissioned some tractors, herbicides, sprayers, fertilizers, watering cans, Seedlings of ornamental to aid the farmers in the community. It will all be given to the Igwe before we leave for proper allocation. And lastly, the government has also given us some palliatives to distribute among us you. Some foodstuffs and money to help the families. Why so soon? You know we like followers peace. As my don't bring this Green light to our community. Igwe, I for love too, but these visitors came from far, and my husband has a conference meeting tomorrow, so we have to go, but I promise we will keep in touch to know how the things they go. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my son. Thank you all, our visitors. May the God grant you a journey mercy. May not bring great joy to these people. Yeah. My people, people now go out, go celebrate, but let's gather back here tomorrow morning. We know people who have a point to oversee these things. Yeah. Yeah. My wonderful country people, we don't come to the end of this episode of our bonky drama, Mberede. We now don't see what happened for this episode now. As they hot like fresh bread. Make sure so you don't miss next episode though. Carry your chair, sit down, get it back. Next episode, they come meet you now, sharp, sharp. Your Ogbonge presenters now, if you're a blessing. And I day here with me. Oh, fear monkey, true day. Make you now sit down where we relax and enjoy yourself. The crew members, where they this Ogbonge drama, where they tighten and bear day now. Executive producer, Professor Ella Sunday Ogi. Producer, Professor Eddie Apple. Associate producers, Dr. Charles Opowulu and Mr. Charles Emokpai. Script writers, General Gibbs Bios, Ephraim Umuna, and Precious Atun. The presenter, Ifere Blessing, and Ufiem Mkechi Ude. Director, Mr. Charles Emokpai. The assistant director, GBK Vaitu. Production manager, Chidera Gift Bios. Technical supervisor, Chibeta Lukinsli Chikwebuka. Prompter, Chidera Gift Bios. Coordinator, Fred Chine Cherem Unaji. Sound engineer, Chibeta Lukinsli Chikwebuka. Assistant sound engineer, John Paul Azubike. Editor, Chibeta Lukinsli Chikwebuka. Sound creator, Sandra Iwu. Location manager, Chie Mary Ugu. Thank <laughs> you.